rebuild procedures for the Holland FW35 fifth wheel. In order to begin the rebuild procedures for the FW35, you must first remove the top plate. Note, some fifth wheel assemblies have replaceable pocket inserts installed between the fifth wheel top plate and the mounting base. Take care when removing the fifth wheel top plate not to lose pocket inserts. Caution, failure to prevent pocket inserts from falling out of the top plate could cause a potentially hazardous situation which, if not avoided, may result in minor or moderate injury. To start the removal process, first remove the bracket pin retention bolts and nuts from both sides of the fifth wheel top plate. Next, using a pry bar, pull bracket retention pins out of the fifth wheel top plate. Now that the bracket retention pins are out of the top plate, use a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds to remove the top plate from the mounting base. Place the fifth wheel upside down on a flat and clean working area. Note, follow instructions published by lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of lifting device. At this point, completely remove all components except the pocket inserts from the fifth wheel and discard. Important, your rebuild kit contains all components necessary to completely rebuild your fifth wheel top plate. Do not reuse old parts. Important, do not remove the pocket inserts unless they are cracked or worn. Refer to your maintenance material for inspection information. Note, lock pins may be difficult to dislodge and may require force to remove. Caution, do not hit steel parts with a steel hammer as parts could break sending flying steel fragments in any direction creating a hazard which, if not avoided, may result in minor to moderate injury. Thoroughly steam clean the top plate at this time. Inspect the fifth wheel top plate for cracks and for loose lock pins. Fifth wheels with cracks or loose lock pin holes must be replaced. Warning: Failure to replace fifth wheels with cracks or loose lock pin holes may result in tractor trailer separation which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Now that the top plate has been thoroughly steam cleaned and inspected, we can begin the lock installation. Start by lubricating the lock pin holes of the lock jaws with Neverseize, which is provided in the rebuild kit. It is important to only use Neverseize when lubricating lock pin holes of lock jaws. Do not use a substitute lubricant. With the fifth wheel top plate upside down, Align the lock pin hole of the lock jaws with the lock pin holes in the casting. Be certain to position lock jaws with king pin guides facing the fifth wheel casting. With lock jaws properly positioned in the fifth wheel casting, drive lock pins into the lock jaws and casting holes until the heads are flush with the casting. Install retaining rings on the lock pins. Next, install the lock spring onto the lock jaws. When installing the yoke, start by lubricating tips of the yoke with a water-resistant lithium-based grease. Insert a 2-inch or 50.8 millimeter diameter precision plug or the Holland lock gauge into the lock jaws. Note, you must use an SAF Holland lock gauge or a precision plug that is 2 plus or minus 5 thousandths of an inch or 50.8 plus or minus 0.127 millimeters for proper installation of the locking mechanism. With the threaded hole facing up, slide the yoke into the casting. If necessary, Tap lightly to seat the yoke around the lock jaws. Inspect the amount of yoke tip engagement. The yoke tips must be flush with the end of the lock jaw or extend less than one half inch or 12 millimeters beyond the lock jaw. Note, if the new yoke extends more than one half inch or 12 millimeters beyond the lock jaw, do not use. Discard it and order SAF Holland part number XA07295-THK.
assemble the secondary lock to the torsion spring. Drive the roll pin through the spring and lock until it is flush with the casting. Check the lock spring for tension and the lock for free movement. Next, install the yoke spring. Once the spring is in place, slide the yoke shaft into the casting, through the spring and into the yoke. Align the recessed hole in the shaft with the threaded hole in the yoke. Next, install the release handle. Start by sliding the release handle through the hole in the side of the fifth wheel top plate. Slide a 1 and 3 quarter inch outside diameter washer. Next, slide the handle spring onto the release handle. And finally, a 1 and 1 16 inch outside diameter washer in order over the S bend of the release handle. Compress the handle spring using the 1 and 1 16 inch outside diameter washer until the cotter pin hole is exposed. Insert a cotter pin into the hole on the release handle, spread the cotter pin ends, and wrap them completely around the release handle. Before installation, it is a good idea to inspect the cam plate for any burrs. Service the cam plate if needed before installation. Install the cam plate onto the release handle's S-shaped bend. Lubricate the cam plate track and pivot hole with a water-resistant lithium-based grease. Next, align the cam plate track over the threaded hole in the yoke. Place a 2 and 5 8 inch outside diameter washer between the yoke and the cam plate with the rounded side of the washer facing the cam plate. Note, when installing the washer, the rounded edge of the washer must always face the cam plate. Next, place a 5 8 inch roller into the cam plate track and then a second 2 and 5 8 inch outside diameter washer over the roller with the rounded side of the washer facing the cam plate. Check the alignment of the recessed hole in the yoke shaft. Install a 5 8 inch bolt through the washer, roller, cam plate, and second washer, and into the threaded hole in the yoke, making sure that the bolt enters the recessed hole in the yoke shaft. Once secured, check for free movement of the cam plate. Position the cam plate attachment hole over the casting lug hole. Once in position, place a 1 and 3 quarter inch outside diameter washer between the cam plate and the casting lug hole with the rounded side of the washer facing the cam plate. Install a half inch roller into the cam plate and place a second 1 and 3 quarter inch outside diameter washer on top of the roller with the rounded side facing the cam plate. Install a half inch bolt through the washers, roller, and top plate lug. Secure the bolt with a half inch lock nut and torque to 65 foot pounds. Tighten the bolt securely. Make sure the gap between the washer and the cam plate is no more than 12 hundredths of an inch or 3.04 millimeters and no less than 6 hundredths of an inch or 1.52 millimeters. Then check for free movement of the cam plate. Slide the lock adjustment tag, the rubber washer, and the one and a half inch outside diameter washer onto the yoke shaft. Insert a lock nut on the end of the yoke shaft and turn until the lock nut is tight. At this point, remove the SAF Holland lock gauge from between the lock jaws. The Holland FW35 rebuild procedure is now complete. Lock adjustment procedures for the Holland FW35 fifth wheel. Fifth wheel lock adjustments should be performed at a minimum of every 60,000 miles or if excessive movement between kingpin and fifth wheel is noticed when driving the vehicle. Important, excessive movement between the tractor and trailer can affect vehicle handling. Warning, failure to maintain proper fifth wheel adjustment could result in loss of vehicle control, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Note, to obtain proper adjustment, SAF Holland recommends use of Holland Lock Tester Part Number TF-TLN 5001.
available from your local SAF Holland distributor. If the fifth wheel is locked, pull the release handle to unlock the fifth wheel. To start the lock adjustment process, first back off the adjustment nut five to six turns. Use the lock tester to couple and uncouple the fifth wheel two to three times in order to help seat the yoke. With locks closed around the lock tester, position adjustment nut on yoke shaft so it is slightly compressing the rubber washer, making it difficult to turn by hand. Turn the adjustment nut one additional full turn clockwise to further compress the rubber washer. Important. Over-compressing the washer with additional turns will take the fifth wheel out of proper adjustment and degrade the performance of the fifth wheel. Repeat coupling and uncoupling process with the lock tester at least twice to help seat the yoke. Confirm that the rubber washer cannot be turned by hand. If it can, repeat the lock adjustment procedure. If the rubber washer cannot be turned by hand, the lock adjustment was successful. You may now remove the lock tester from the fifth wheel. The Holland FW35 lock adjustment procedure is now complete. Important, before using your fifth wheel, you must verify that it is operating properly. Warning, failure to verify that the fifth wheel is operating properly could result in tractor trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in serious injury or death.